daily VAT updates for the month of March. Some of the updates we have already discussed in our earlier presentations. Now we have discussed some more updates of daily VAT during the month of March. Let's take a view on the highlights of notifications issued. Department of Trades and Taxes issued a list of bank authorized for collection of tax, interest and penalty or any other amount due under the Act. It also specified the condition in addition to conditions specified by RBI, subject on which authorization of bank based. Now the High Commission of Republic and Mahatma Gandhi Institute of Education are listed in Schedule 6. A notification regarding advisory to embassy High Commission and international organization issued regarding VAT reform. Now discussed each of the notification in detail. Department of Trade and Taxes issue a list of bank authorized for collection of tax, interest, penalty or any other amount due under the Act. This notification is issued on 28th March. Following are the list of bank authorized for collection of tax, interest, penalty and any other amount due under the Act from the dealers registered under the Act. Allahabad Bank, Excess Bank, Bank of Baroda, Bank of Maharashtra, Karnataka Bank, Central Bank of India, Corporation Bank, HDFC Bank, ICICI Bank, and IDBI Bank. Indian Bank, Indian Overseas Bank, Kotak Mahindra Bank, Oriental Bank of Commerce, Punjab and Sin Bank, Punjab National Bank, State Bank of India, and Syndicate Bank. Yuko Bank, Union Bank of India, United Bank of India, and Vijaya Bank. The authorization of above banks shall be subject to the following conditions. Condition 1. Subject to clause 2 below, the amount shall be collected in e-payment mode only. All branches of State Bank of India and Vyapar Bhavan branch of Punjab and Sindh Bank would also accept physical offline payment in addition to e-payment as per the prescribed process rule. The State Bank of India would specifically inform the department in case any of its branch in NCRT of daily is not allowed to collect physical offline payment. Refusal to accept the payment by an allowed branch would be considered as a breach of this authorization. The bank software shall be developed in accordance with the process flow for offline and online payment available on department website. Condition 4. The process of filing up of Chalan for offline and online payment shall have to be initiated from the department website. The Chalan printed from the department website would carry a unique ID. Condition 5. No payment would be accepted by bank against handwritten Chalan or directly through their portal in any case. However, the apart from branch of Punjab and Sindh Bank would be allowed to accept the payment against handwritten Chalan from unregistered dealer and casual dealers only. The amount collected shall be limited to Reserve Bank of India, Parliament Street, New Delhi, latest by the next working day of realization of payment by bank. Payment made between 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. on any working day will be accounted for on the same day. And those after 8 p.m. till before 8 a.m. on the next day will be accounted in next working day's payment. Further, the payment made at the time on Sunday and holiday will be accounted in the next working day's payment. The interest on daily remittance to RBI shall be leaved at the bank rate plus 2 percent or as notified by RBI time to time. Condition 9. The bank shall adhere to security and other provisions of the Information Technology Act 2000. Condition 10. The online payment can be made from saving or current account of dealer or contractor or any other person on their behalf.
successful fit the nodal branch of of the authorized bank shall coordinate all the matter related to the payment with the department and the name mobile number email address of the contact person shall be communicated to our office this notification supersedes all previous notification on subject and shall come into force with effect from 1st april 2014 In six schedule to the daily value added tax act 2004 in entry number one in part A list of embassies after entry A one double four and in part B list of international organization after entry B thirty the following entries shall be inserted namely.
purposes of belvedere as selling dinner claims that the daily invoices is for the purpose of raising bell whereas for refund selling dealer issue tax invoices to embassy or international organization claim against vat paid in other state it is further clarified that dictionary meaning of refund is pay back money to someone hence in case the selling dealer don't file return admitting certain sale in their return in such cases as per daily bad act the department cannot pay back or refund the tax that has never been received by the department however the department should take action against defaulting selling dealer on the basis of specific complaint received you are therefore advised to buy good from credible dealer only this clarification is being issued to ensure that while filing d by 23 online for claiming refund due care is taken by the embassy high commissioner and international organization so that claim amount is allowed expediently without any reduction and without any elaborate check further the sum of the guidelines for embassy high commissioner and international organizations are as follows to comply with serial number 9 to g of d bank act 2004 while making purchase please ensure that in number and the name of the embassy high commissioner of organization is mentioned in the invoices so that the selling dealer files the same in the online form 46 of his return which shall be electronically matched with your claim of refund in d by 23 please ensure that selling dealer issue a retail tax invoice is clearly mentioning the same price and bad separately do not claim back in respect of proposition dealer as they are not liable to charge back